it's very important to know that sometimes early basal cell cancers can mimic these sebaceous hyperplasias or oral gland overgrowth. So it's important to get any new or changing lesions checked. Hello everyone, welcome back to Fundamentals with Dr. Adobe Obasi. I'm a physician scientist board certified in dermatology and dermatopathology. In this video, we're going to discuss a common condition called rosacea. Yes, everyone hears rosacea and thinks of a fair skinned patient that is usually always or very easily red and flushes easily. However, rosacea is a little bit more complex than that. There's a common misconception that rosacea is a condition that only affects fair skin patients. However, all skin types can be affected by rosacea, from the fair skin to the darker skin types. There are two parts to the rosacea skin condition. The first part is inflammation, when the immune system gets revved up and starts to cause unwanted changes on the skin of the face. The second part is blood vessel in the skin of the face being hyperactive to the environment or very reactive to the environment. There are many common triggers of rosacea. The first trigger is the sun. Rosacea is considered a photosensitive condition, meaning the sun can make this condition flare as well as progress and worsen over time. Other common triggers of rosacea include factors that increase the body temperature usually, such as alcohol, spicy food, caffeine, being in a hot room, being emotional, whether upset, angry, or excited. All of these can increase the body temperature and therefore increase blood flow to the skin of the face, resulting in a flare of rosacea. There are four main types of rosacea. The first type of rosacea is one that is associated with the easy flushing, the redness on the face, and the prominence of visible blood vessels on the skin of the face. This is called erythematotelangiectatic rosacea. Say that quickly five times. So this form of rosacea, as I mentioned, results in the redness on the face, the easy flushing, and over time, patients can manifest the dilated or prominent visible blood vessels, usually around the nose area, but can happen on the chin, the cheeks, and the forehead. Rosacea is typically described as central facial redness that can have red bumps as well as prominent pores. Central facial referring to the nose, the middle part of the cheeks, the middle of the chin, and the middle of the forehead. The second form of rosacea is called papillopustular rosacea. Papillopustular rosacea tends to manifest with acne-like bumps on the skin of the face, usually in the similar distribution as the redness of the face. The acne bumps in papillopustular rosacea tends to be deeper and more painful than the typical acne that is seen in, let's say, teenage acne, what we call acne vulgaris, that tend to form pus bumps. Both the first form of rosacea that I described and the papillopustular rosacea tend to be associated with symptoms such as skin itching, burning sensation, stinging sensation, and a sensitivity to over-the-counter or in general skincare products. So patients will describe stinging sensations, burning sensations when they try different over-the-counter products for their skincare regimen. The third form of rosacea is called ocular rosacea. This form of rosacea tends to affect the eyes and the glands in the eyelid. These patients will manifest with dry eyes, feeling like sand is stuck in the eye, as well as recurrent styes, what are called chalazions, which are swollen red bumps on the eyelid margin, which can be very painful and uncomfortable. The last form of rosacea that I wanted to discuss is called rhinophyma. This is a thickening of the skin of the nose due to the oil glands 
from making multiple copies of themselves and scarring. Rhinophyma can alter or change the, how the tip of the nose looks and form a bulbous projection that can actually even overhang. Early on patients may have just the thickened generalized skin of the nose but over time they can form this bulbous projection that now requires surgical intervention to treat. Any given patient can actually have one, two or more forms of rosacea in their skin at any given time or one form can change to another form over time. A lot of patients tend to present with the redness, with some acne-like breakouts, and then over time they start to manifest unwanted features of the skin of the face, such as the visible blood vessels, they can be purple or red, usually around the nose, on the chin, and on the cheeks and forehead. And they also start to have oil gland overgrowths, what we call sebaceous hyperplasia. Sebaceous hyperplasia result in these small bumps about one to three millimeters on the face they can be larger and they tend to have a central opening what is called a dell and that gives a clue to this being an oil gland overgrowth it's very common on the skin of rosacea regardless of the type it's very important to know that sometimes early basal cell cancers can mimic these sebaceous hyperplasias or oil gland overgrowth so it's important to get any new or changing lesions checked the treatment of rosacea is determined by the type of rosacea you have, as well as how severe your rosacea is. Rosacea inflammation can be driven by a hypersensitivity to the normal bacteria and mites, what we call dimodex mites, that live in the pores. The treatment of rosacea includes topical treatments such as washes, lotions, gels, and creams that can decrease the population of the mites and the bacteria of the skin, as well as decrease the inflammation. This is usually helpful in all forms of rosacea, except the ocular rosacea where you need formulations that are safe for the eye, or a pill form of medication that can decrease the inflammation safely in the eye glands. The categories of medications usually used on the skin of the face of rosacea for treatment include retinoids, antibiotic medications, anti-mite medications, and other forms of skin calming ingredients to help these patients heal from their inflammation. A critical component in rosacea treatment is the sun protection for all types of rosacea. For the rosacea manifesting on the skin of the face, of course, using a mineral sunscreen to physically block the sun from reaching the skin surface is very helpful. But any sunscreen is better than no sunscreen. I do find that patients with rosacea tend to have more of that stinging, uncomfortable sensation after using some forms of sunscreen. So it's always important to check which type of sunscreen your skin is more comfortable. For the ocular rosacea, you protect your eyes with a UV coated um, or UV protected sunglasses. There are additional treatments that can be done to improve rosacea and the unwanted features of rosacea over time, as I mentioned, such as the oil gland overgrowth, the sebaceous hyperplasia, the prominent capillaries, and also the prominent or opening of the pores um, on the skin of the nose, the cheeks, and the common areas that rosacea affects. Devices such as laser and intense pulse light can improve the skin of patients with rosacea by decreasing the inflammation, destroying some of those unwanted oil gland overgrowths, as well as prominent or visible capillaries, and also tighten the pores and give an overall glow to the skin. Other things such as chemical peels can help patients with rosacea cut and prone skin, but it has to be a gentle peel made for sensitive skin patients. And just as importantly, your diet plays a big role. You have to cut down on triggers for you that can cause you to flare with your rosacea. So as I mentioned, the alcohol, the spicy food, whatever it is that can cause you to flare your rosacea, you want to cut down on it. And in general, cut down on overall inflammation in your body from eating a lot of highly processed, high sugar, high carb foods. So for all my patients, I recommend an anti-inflammatory diet. All that means is cutting down on things that can drive inflammation in your system, such as high sugar, high carb, high processed foods, and 
going for more natural whole foods that can actually heal the skin um, and so it has to be a holistic approach thank you very much for watching this video I hope I have clarified some information about rosacea as I mentioned before it can affect all skin types please share this video with your friends colleagues family acquaintances you never know who may be dealing with rosacea or the discomforts of having rosacea please subscribe to this channel click on the notification bell as well as the like button and leave a comment below on this topic as well as any future topics you would want me to discuss I want you to all have a wonderful day and God bless you're all fundamentally awesome. Bye-bye.